crew helmet sweat going on. Okay, I think that was the best session that I have ever had at this park, so I'm really stoked right now. I don't even know what to say, except this video is not about that. This video is about the shoes I was wearing today. So I've always skated Vans since I've started skating. I've tried regular classic Vans, I've tried the Vans High Top Pros twice, and then most recently I was skating the Vans Pro Slip-Ons. And unfortunately I just was never quite satisfied with that shoe. It's a really popular shoe and I think it's actually a pretty affordable skate shoe. Probably, I mean they're from around 60 to 90 dollars depending on what you're getting and I know that changes depending on when you buy them and where you buy them but compared to other skate shoes they're not as expensive and you can get them like buy one and get one half off sometimes too that's actually how I bought my van slip-ons they were only 20 bucks so I figured I'd try them out and they've actually worn pretty well I've worn them for quite a few months now and I don't even have that much wear and tear on the shoe while skating about three to four times a week and they've held up really well but they have to be probably the worst shoe I have ever worn and I feel bad saying that because I, I like Vans, I have nothing against Vans but this shoe was so uncomfortable for me I have multiple clips of me taking the shoes off in the middle of a session because they hurt my feet so badly I couldn't even keep them on any longer. And I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if I just got a pair with like bad elastic because they would not stretch out. I put actually vitamin bottles inside the shoes for a week trying to stretch it out because when I first tried them they were really tight. And so I did that for a week and they'd be okay as when I first put them on but then they would constrict again and for months, even, even months later, I still had this problem where they were so tight around my foot that I just couldn't wear them at all. This is not to bash Vans. Vans fit a lot of people and a lot of people love Vans. They just don't fit me and I think it's just the shape of the shoe not necessarily the brand you know like they just don't fit my foot shape and that's it and so i decided to try karyumas not just because of this sick pink colorway that they came out with but um for four different reasons that are really important to me one i actually had a pair of karyuma shoes that were not for skateboarding they were just a regular pair and they fit my foot really well and i noticed immediately like if you look at the fans and the Kariumas next to each other, you can tell that the Kariuma has a little bit shorter of like a toe base and the Vans are a bit longer and I think that is exactly where the Kariumas fit my feet much better because I just skated in them for two hours and there was absolutely no break in, nothing. They were just super comfortable for the entire session and I can't say that for any of the Vans I ever skated. So I definitely think this shape fits me really well. Reason number two is as a female skater, I just love how inclusive and easy it is to navigate their website for me. And that's for two reasons. One, they actually list all the shoes with female sizes. I don't have to figure out what my size is in men's. And two, when you go to the women's section of shoes, there's no difference in selection. And I absolutely love that because it's so frustrating when I go on to a skate website and I'm looking for shoes and there's like pages of shoes for the men and then if you go to the women's shoes they're like filled with non-skate shoes there's a couple skate shoes but then they're filled with like running shoes and it's just really bizarre and it, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way like I don't know, a lot of women skate and they've skated for a long time and because it's a male dominated sport we just have to go to the men's shoes section and figure out what our size is for men. But you would think that they would just, I don't know, you'd have a, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I just really appreciate Kariuma going the extra mile and recognizing that a lot of women skate too and realizing that it's just nice to have a website that's dedicated and really easy for us to navigate and find our shoes in, and I appreciate that.
Number three, um, the fact that they're ethically made is really important to me. It's not about planting two trees. It's about ethical factories, ethical production, and also fair wages to all the workers in the process. And I am more than happy to pay an extra $20 for these shoes, knowing that my money is being spent in a way that benefits everybody in the supply chain and the environment. I'm more than happy to pay that extra money when I can to support that and the fourth reason was actually the biggest selling point to me and that's that you can buy one shoe from Karyuma. how it just blows my mind that i've never seen the option to buy one shoe from any other skate shoe company i mean skaters regularly wear through one shoe faster than the other and it's not like that's anything new i just cannot believe it took Karyuma to come in and be like you know what, we actually care about being wasteful and we realized that it was silly to throw two shoes away when you could just throw the bad one and keep the one that's still working. And I absolutely love that. I'm super stoked that there's even a really small way that I can try and minimize my waste when it comes to skateboarding because it can be a very wasteful sport. Just thinking about all the shoes that we go through and the decks that you go through and stuff. So I'm happy to do my part and support this company who supports, I guess, my values as a consumer, really. And so this isn't really a review of the shoe, but more of why I wanted to buy it, because one, I mean, I don't really believe in first impression reviews, except that the fact that I could put them on and they didn't hurt my feet, and that's very much to do with the shape of my foot and not the shoe itself. So I'm just really happy I bought these shoes so far. Obviously, it's been a day. No, but seriously, I'm really happy I got these shoes that I could support a store, a company that supports the things that I believe in, and I'm really excited to see what new tricks I can get in these shoes. Let me make sure I checked off all my stuffs. Oh yes, I will probably continue to practice walk the dogs in my vans, just because I've already really worn through the bottom, and I might as well kill the shoe. But um, for everything else, yeah. I'm gonna be skating these so that I can skate comfortably and uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope you got something out of it and I hope to see you next time.